What's up you guys? It's Alexa and welcome back to my channel. So I am so sorry. I literally have not posted in probably over two weeks and it's because June has just been so crazy with traveling and these Gemini birthdays. It was like Gemini season like crazy this year. I don't know why there are so many June birthdays. Anyways, it is really hot in California right now. Like I am legit sweating in my little 80s outfit. I thought it would be a perfect time to share with you guys a couple clothing hacks that are perfect for the summertime or just wherever you are in the world if it's hot weather for you. You, like these are perfect styles. So before I jump into these tutorials, I want to let you guys know that I am partnering up with W Concept to announce their BTS World Tour ticket giveaway. They are giving away two tickets to one lucky winner for the BTS World Tour for the New Jersey show on the 29th. That was a mouthful. I need to take a breather. So I know some of you guys weren't able to get some tickets when they originally went on sale. So if you guys are one of those, and this is like the perfect opportunity to possibly go see BTS. To enter into this contest, all you have to do is log into your W Concept account, purchase anything that you guys want, and then go onto the event page, which I will link down in the bottom in the description box, and comment who your favorite BTS member is. If I was entering, it obviously would be V. The contest ends on July 8th, so make sure you guys put in all of your entries. The winner will be announced on the 31st. You guys can also use my promo code for 10% off of your purchase. On that note, I do have some announcements, BTS related and non-BTS related, so definitely stay till the very end of this video to see what those are. If you guys are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe down below and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on the next time that I post. And without further ado, what a long intro that was, let's jump right into these tutorials. <laughs> For this dress, you need a men's button-up shirt, some pins, a seam ripper, fabric shears, and a fitted dress for reference. The first thing you want to do is remove the front pocket with your seam ripper. Then cut up the side seam and cut off the sleeves. For the back, cut off the yoke and remove any stitches to flatten the back out. Fold the back piece in half and lay your dress on top. I also use a non-stretched skirt for the fit for this one since the button up top material isn't very stretchy. Cut out the body leaving a couple inches for wiggle room and seam allowance. You then want to fold your back piece in half where the curve of your waist would be. Cut out your front piece out of the button side of the shirt. Also make sure to leave about an inch and a half of seam allowance at the top so that you guys can hem this later. Fold over the top edge of the front piece to hem it. I'm going to be using a rolled hem for this one. Make sure you unbutton the piece first and hem each panel separately so that you guys can open and close it later. Repeat the same hem to the top of the back piece. Match up the front and the back pieces together and pin down the sides. Next, you want to cut off the cuff and cut out this triangle shape thing. I don't know what it's called, but you're going to cut it out of your sleeve material. Trim your triangle to make sure it fits within the space above the front piece. Turn the triangle inside out so that the right sides are kissing and sew a straight stitch along the cut edge. Flip it inside out and pin this to the top of the back piece. Sew down the entire side of the dress to make your new side seam. For the straps, I just took whatever long scraps I could find and then I cut strips out from there. I just folded the strip in fours and sewed a straight stitch across to make a string. Normally I would just attach the straps like this but I wanted to be a tad bit extra so I made this dress adjustable and to do so I just used these little ring things. To make your strap adjustable, cut off a small piece of your string, loop it through the circle ring and attach it to the back part of the dress. Then pin one end of the strap to the front and thread it through this double hole ring thing. Sorry guys, I don't know what the names of these things are called. Um, from there, loop it through the ring and then thread it back through the adjuster. Sew the end to the strap and then that's it. Once you guys repeat this to the other strap, you guys are completely done with your dress. I am so obsessed with how this dress turned out. It's like, it just fits so well and I love the material. It's super cute and I feel like the fit and the cut is just perfect for summer. I'm really into yellow too, so this is like perfect for my closet. You guys best believe I'm going to be cutting up way more men's shirts now that I have this like really cool hat. <laughs> Okay, 
Okay, now for this matching set, you need a pair of fitted shorts, a triangle bralette or bikini bra, a pair of side button pants, a strap turner or matching string, fabric shears, and pins. First, what we need to do is adjust the fit of the pants. So we're going to cut off the entire waistband and sew this back onto the shorts. Make sure you leave some seam allowance underneath the waistband so you guys can sew it back on later. Use your shorts reference to see how far down you need to re-sew. I actually learned this trick from one of you subscribers, so thank you guys so much because this hack is like so, so freaking helpful. Cut off any excess seam allowance when you're done. Cut down the center of the pants along the crotch, fold the leg in half and cut the desired length leaving about 1 inch for hemming later. I also cut one inch off the inseam of the pants to make the leg fit smaller. Sew a straight stitch along the edge to make a new inseam and repeat this to the other leg. Open the leg piece and recut the curves for your butt and your coots. Sorry, I would say crotch, but it's just such an ugly word to me. Um, make sure the curve for your butt is deeper than the front curve because I don't know, that's just how it is, I guess. Lay your leg pieces on top of each other with the right sides kissing and sew a straight stitch along the U edge. To finish up your shorts, fold up the bottom edge to hem it with a straight stitch. So continuing on to the top, we're gonna cut off the side stripe of the pants and we're gonna make this into the bralette band. I guess this clip got deleted, but anyways, I cut out a triangle with the extra pants material and I used my bikini as a template. You want to cut out four identical pieces, two for the front and two for the lining. Now we're going to add a dart, so fold the triangle in half and pin starting half an inch from the bottom and tapering up to the center of the triangle. Sew this down with a straight stitch to make your dart. For the string, I just cut long strips from the extra material. They were kind of short, so to make them longer, make a V with two ends of the strips and sew across. This is a better method to sewing strips versus like just matching the two ends together because this way the seam isn't concentrated in one area. Fold the strap long ways and sew down along the edge to make a tunnel. Use your strap turner to turn them inside out once you're finished. This is totally optional because instead of, you know, like doing all of this, you guys can just buy string at the store that's already made, but um, I, I guess I'm being eco-friendly and also very cheap and lazy, so I'd rather just do this method instead. Sandwich two bra pieces together with the right sides kissing and place one string at the top and sew a straight stitch along the top edge. Then you can turn it inside out once you're done. You can also add a top stitch on the outside of the bra piece if you want to be a little extra, but you know, that's not really necessary. Find the center of the band and pin your bra pieces to it and sew along the top using a straight stitch. Cut small strips of your string and fold it to make a loop. Fold the edge of the band and sew the loops to the outer corners. To finish up your bra, lace your bra straps through the loops and tie it at the bottom. Also guys, I am so sorry for Oliver's for literally being everywhere in this video, but anyways, this matching set was actually a request, so I'm so glad that I did it because it is the perfect matching set for summer, and yeah, I love it so much. I feel like I'm gonna do some sports or whatever, even though um, who would do sports in this kind of outfit, but maybe me, totally me. <laughs> enjoyed it honestly keep sending me photos of your guys's diys that you make because it makes me so happy like literally a thousand times happier throughout the day also don't forget to enter into w concepts giveaway link will be down in the bottom in the description box okay so for the announcement so announcement number one we reached 400k and i'm so excited literally thank you guys so so much and i know this is so cliche to say because um literally everyone says it but honestly i would not be here without you guys because without you guys and i wouldn't have a channel i wouldn't be able to do things that i love to do so thank you guys so much like virtual hug to each and every one of you i love you guys all so much i'm gonna cry
anyway. And I did tell you guys if we did reach 400k, I would open up a PO box. So I'm gonna go do that next week and then I'll give you guys the address so then we could communicate more. It'll be so fun. Announcement number two, I am going to be going to Korea for a week. I'm going between August 15th to the 22nd. So I don't know if there are any um, rosebuds out in Korea. Maybe we should like do a meetup or something. That would be fun too. Okay, announcement number three, since I already talked about the BTS World Tour, I might as well tell you guys now. I am planning to do a DIY BTS World Tour merch video that should be dropping sometime either next week or the week after. I was gonna talk more about it in that video, but since we already mentioned it, I know a lot of you guys are gonna ask. Um, yes, I am going to the BTS World Tour. I'm going to the LA show, the Chicago show, and the Texas show. And I am planning to do a little meetup when I'm at the shows because I know a lot of you subscribers are BTS fans, are ARMY, so that should be really fun as well. I keep saying fun a lot in this video. But yeah, so that's pretty much it for my little announcements. If you guys want to connect with me on social media, all my socials are at the number rose. That's it for this really long outro on this video. I love you guys all and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! That was a weird bye. <laughs> I like went bye. Okay, bye! <laughs>